Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. On January 24th, the Baltimore City Fire Department lost three of their best, Lieutenant Paul Buttram, Lieutenant Kelsey Sadler, and Firefighter Kenny Lakeo. Their loss has been felt all across the state of Maryland, and their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Please join us in a moment of silence for these three heroes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. <laughs> gentlemen, remove your hats. Members of the military and veterans salute. And everyone else, place your hand on your heart as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem by tonight's special guest, the Moongates from St. Timothy School in Stevenson, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moon Gates. Now, welcome to CQ Arena in Baltimore, Maryland, where tonight it's MASL Soccer, the Baltimore Blast, taking on the Yucca City Football Club. Paul Mittermeyer joined by Lita Chanterette and Andrew Primrose. And Lee, the Blast coming off a, a much-needed 7-4 victory over the Harrisburg Heat last week. But the big news and the big story for the Blast tonight is they lost their keeper, William Van Zell, in the second half. Mike Zierhofer came in and filled in admirably. But again, Van, uh, Van Zell is out tonight. Zierhofer gets his first start in a long time for the Blast, and that's going to be a key in uh, the Blast of winning and losing tonight. Yeah, not only have you, you know, you lost a keeper who's won multiple championships, but he's been a great leader, especially to some of the younger guys on the team. So it'll be, you know, important that the Blast, you know, the first five minutes or so try to keep a clean sheet and let, you know, let him get his feet underneath him. Oh, Zierhofer came in, the Blast defenders rallied around him and really limited the shots for Harrisburg in that second half last week. Zierhofer also made a couple of big saves. Uh, the storyline offensively, though, Tony Donatelli, the big hat trick uh, against Harrisburg. And we'll watch also the youngster, Oswald Ozzie Anang, who scored his first goal as a member of the Blast. 
he'll play tonight up front. And uh, they're, they're hopeful he has some big things for the Blast. Yeah, look at it. It's a, it's a position that David's been looking to fill. They need that target. They need that player that you can play through, you can hold the ball up, but also can spin and kind of create for himself. So hopefully, hopefully uh, you know, Ozzie can be that guy who fills that role. Utica City comes into Baltimore at 2-9. and nine. They've lost seven in a row, kind of at desperate times. And let's go to Andrew Primrose, who with it, Utica City's roster moves this week. Andrew? Utica City, and with that, they look to replace with some veteran players. So two flurries of moves as they brought in four players. You'll recognize Everton coming in, and he'll start tonight here for Utica City. They also traded for Stephon, or signed Stephon St. Louis. And then the big trade this week as they went down to Florida and brought back MASL veterans Lucio Gonzaga and Andrew Hoxie. Of course, Blast fans will remember Andrew Hoxie here. He had played a couple games down in Florida, but now back here in Baltimore playing for Utica City, a veteran offensive player. And, and Lucio Gonzaga, of course, you know, not only the veteran, but the, the great free kick artist, right? I mean, anytime the ball's inside midfield and Utica City has a free kick opportunity, that's a goal opportunity when Lucio Gonzaga's on the field. So some veteran presence for Utica City, and, and they're at the crunch time now. They can't afford to lose games now, even on the road in Baltimore. Yeah, Andrew, point well taken, and Lee, uh, another key, obviously, with guys like Everton and Lucio Tavernisi, guys that can finish, no mistakes defensively. Don't kick the ball over the boards. No uh, restarts at the top of the arc. I mean, things like that could be a key to winning and losing. Yeah, look, they've got to make sure that they can take care of the little things. I think that's been one of the, the points David hasn't been happy with is just kind of taking care of these little things. And against veteran players, a team that has been struggling, you don't want to give them any hope. You don't want to give them a lifeline through bad fouls or stupid mistakes. Here you see B.J. Serhoff, former Oriole, walking off. B.J. has been a big, big uh, supporter of finding a cure for autism. And it's Autism Awareness Night tonight here in Baltimore. You'll see the Blast wearing their white jerseys with the, the autism uh, kind of logo around the, the waist. You see uh, Mike Zierhofer that's taking the opening kickoff there with that um, logo, autism speaks jersey. I love that jersey, by the way, Lee. <laughs> it is an awesome jersey. Look at, I mean, I can't say enough about uh, you know, these amazing parents who, who help their children through autism and stuff like that uh, we, we've had a few kids at school like that and it's it's just amazing to see the strength of these young men and women yeah no question about it uh, it's a very cool thing here in Towson as well of course with the men's basketball coach at the University Towson University where the blast play that's also a big game Pat Scary the head coach being in that cause as well and so they play basketball games here wearing those Pathfinders for autism jerseys as well all right the Seventh lady banging the drum while she's doing that. So I'll tell you, Capelli is the official. It's the uh, officials for today. Oh, excuse me. The Capelli is the official uniform sponsor of the MASL officials. And our officials tonight, Shane Butler, Dustin Killick, uh, Jeremy Quigley, and Danielle Chesky as well. As uh, the Blast back home again, ready to take on Utica City. Well, I haven't seen I haven't seen Hurricane play in, in uh, a while, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see. Kind of, you know, some of the older guys, especially Everton, some of the veterans, Lucio, benefits them too. The small field, right? I mean, uh, just their ability to finish pretty much from anywhere, right? Yeah, I mean, look at it helps them in that in that regard, but then it hurts them a little bit because you can double down on them quicker, right? So guys like that, they might need, and, and I haven't seen Everton play in a while, but. He used to be able to turn and get a quick shot off, so it'll be interesting to see tonight how how his legs have been holding up. You see Everton there in the circle, getting ready to start things for Utica City. Yelovich, Segura, Raymond, all in the starting lineup for Utica City. The blast said that Lucas Roque, Tony Donatelli, Adriano De Santos, Jeremy Raley, and Jonathan Smello. Everton starts things as he drives it into the blast corner and Mello chests that down and we're underway here in Baltimore. Blast steal the kickoff and control possession in the midfield. The ball off the boards by Dos Santos. Mello with the turn and when we talk about Mello, we talked about it being assertive. Well, he's stepped up this year, 11 goals and five assists. So he's more the scorer this year than he has been the playmaker. 
Yeah, listen, it's been something that, you know, the Blast needs. The Blast has been, you know, he's been very productive in the past, but they've, they've in the past, but they've really been waiting for him to take games over. Your steal by the Blast is Utica City works it out of their defensive end. Yelovich for Bordeaux, and out comes Andrew Coughlin. Almost three lines, but that's just in front. Quick feed to the front, and that goes through everyone, and Utica City now will possess. Yeah, right away, Paul, you said it. That was about a foot away from being a, the smallest three-line pass in MASL history. Got a telly with the steal. Mello for Rayleigh. Now back for Zierhofer. Far side for Roquet. Lucas with some room. Roquet steps over. Now Jamie Thomas on the field for the first time for the Blast, alongside with Mike Diesel and Kalu now on the back line for the Blast. So it'll be interesting to see what the Blast, what their strategy is here. Are they going to try to suck Utica out and then kind of get in behind them? Are they going to try to get really quick transitions on them since there are a lot of new players? You, may, you might not want to let them get set up. So I'm interested to see what David's, uh, what, what's David's thought here today. Jake Schindler defensively throwing the body around to make it an easy save for Coughlin around the turn. And now... <clears throat> three line violation. This time it is one. And we'll get a free kick for the Blacks. Such a short midfield here in Baltimore. Yeah, but I, I got to tell you, looking at Utica's personnel, I don't think that's a bad idea. I would be playing into my targets quick if I could. Okay, quick blast blocked by Yelovitz. Gets it back now. Roquet shot blocked. And we're going to kick in for the Blast. This one right along the Blast bench. Adriana wide open on the far side. Couldn't find him quick enough. Ferdinand. Good step by Max, deflected. Good clear. That was like a half a clear, Paul. You could see that they don't want it. The defenders don't want to swing through it no, because it's, it's three it's three line violation. Smart play. Yeah. That's difficult. It's difficult to actually do. Zierhofer. Goes through for Donatelli. Rayleigh for, oh, good touch for Ozzy. Now gets through. Coughlin with a big save as he comes off the line to make it in front of Rayleigh. Really nice touch by Ozzy, but I like the spacing early on by the blast. Uh, they were posting Mello up there in the middle, and Donatelli took that passing lane about 15 yards higher there and received the ball. Really down the wing. Jeremy avoids the double team. Good clear, now Everton for Utica City. Bordeaux, quick touch, that's stolen away, chance down for Donatelli. Two on two, quick shot by Diesel goes wide. Mello follows far side. Back heel for Donatelli, off the boards in front. Mello, good defensive play as Utica City comes out now. Far side, Schindler on a run, he overlaps, and Zierhofer makes that save. Good clear, good end to action right now in this one. Try for Kalu has he overlaps down the wing, but that's intercepted by Schindler. Utica was on a three on two break, but uh, Everton was looking to get off. He could not make that. He couldn't make that run back post. And there's a pass back here, so we'll get a top of the arc restart for the blast. So that's the first time I've seen that called here in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Ferdinand touches back down to Telly with a quick touch. That's cleared. Blast don't get much out of that restart. No, a little fortunate if that ball's in front of uh, Lucio. Lucio's on a breakaway from you know, the opposite yellow line. Thomas. Santos with a nice touch. Thomas marked by Lucio. I would think that if you're the blast, you'd want to run Lucio and Everton, right? Uh, you would think, but I got to tell you, I was I was impressed right there. Lucio kept up. Steal by the blast. Good cut by Ferdinand. Max with some room, and I think it's a deflection off of Utica. I, mean, I thought I might have hit Ozzy there for a second, but it's Utica, so it'll be a corner kick for the blast. Jamie Thomas is one of our quicker players, and Lucio did a good job staying with him there. Ball was not put in play, so we'll do it again. There you see the wall, there's Lucio right there, the wall, Andrew Hoxie on the field. 
for Utica City. Orange shoes and the mustache. Chip across, Dos Santos a drive, kicked off the back line. Big time defensive play there by Utica, that's a goal. What fantastic uh, technique, wow. Adriano did a great job of keeping that down. Ferdinand, back heel saved by Coughlin. Oxy, Roque pokes that away, and Coughlin will reset. A couple of good saves early on by Coughlin and the Utica D. Coughlin 0-5 this year with a 7.52 goals against average. Ball still loose, here. Hoffer pounces on that for the blast. Coughlin just a 6.33 save percentage. Dos Santos off the boards in front. That's kicked out by Vitale. Everton in transition. Good footwork and Utica City in the possession for the first time in a while. I gotta tell you right off the bat, this is about as much pace and energy as I've seen from the Blast early on in a game in several years now. I mean, they're flying around the ball, they're really focused. This is a lot of energy from this Blast team. So, Hello, just, just looking at body language, Paul, so I think right now, a couple of the Utica guys, they're just not fit right now, right? So they just kind of came into camp and stuff like that. So even there, Everton actually should have recycled back into that corner and Jelinovic was looking for him. And uh, so I feel like, you know, keep this going, keep it scoreless for a little bit here. And I think their energy is going to, oh, go. there we go. Their energy is going to wear them down. Uh, the Silva, the bad pass back for Coughlin. And Lucas Roque, the beneficiary, as he pounces and gives the blast a 1-0 lead. Yeah, I got to see this again, but I'm pretty sure that was a bad pass to the keeper. It's tough oh, to yeah. ball off the board, yeah, yeah. and Coughlin whiffs on it. <laughs> and Segura was saying he was trying to go all the way across to Yellowbach there, but I don't think uh, Andrew Coughlin realized that or believed it. No, that, that wasn't making it. There's no way that was making it. If he, if he was trying to go to Jelovic, there's no way he was making it. This is a simple thing, but that whole play started me with Zier Hoffer just dumping the ball into the corner, right, and just finding some open space and forcing you to come out of that corner. Little things like that make, different, make yeah. a difference. I mean, look, that was just a mistake. I don't know about anything else. That's just a really bad mistake by Utica. You, you can't do that. But the Blast forced them into that position by dumping the ball into the corner. It's, it's very tough in this arena. Look, well, at, you gotta, look at you gotta handle that. My, right, old, no, my, sure. my old legs could handle that. That's the Paul Minnemeyer thought of in this arena. Why not put the ball on goal and in the corner? Correct. Dump it well, down. It, it, that's not necessarily true. You've got to have the personnel for that. Dumping it in the corner, you can make it hectic only if you have guys who can dig it out. You know, so, yes, I, I get it. The arena is short and dumping. It does absolutely work at times. And personally, Paul, you know, I used to love that. I used to love digging the ball out. But that was just because I, I like that type of play. So Soma drives that into the netting. So distribution by Zierhofer. Okay, forced off by Yelovic. Did you see Zierhofer had the water bottle towel time delay thing going nice. down? Hey. The William know, Danzella model. You know, you learn from the best, right? <laughs> Ball out of play off the foot of Yelovic, so it'll be a free kick for the Blast. I tell you, if I was the Blast, I'd be playing down the opposite side of the field in Jelovic. I mean, he's their most experienced guy, and he's really going to obviously do his job well. You got a lot of guys who, uh, just like there, he, he's a smart player. Yeah, a little, I, little I, bump. I would be sucking him out and drawing it out and playing through the other side. Little bump, right? Little bump. Not enough to create a foul, but just that little bump to get the guy off the ball, right? Better move. Look, he's a big boy. He's smart. Back for Coughlin now. Coughlin for Hoxie. Santos draws that assignment. Coxie, for so many years here in Baltimore. Andrew, one of the more, more clutch playoff performers for the Blast. He did, he did have some big playoff goals, for sure. Here he is again on the far side. And the best mustache ever. <laughs> Deerhofer gets a foot on it and kicks it out of play. That's a tough. That's got to be top of the arc, I think. That's top of the arc. Yeah. As Deerhofer kicks it over the glass. And that'll be Utica's. Restart when we come back for the break. 7.21 left in the first. Blast off early, 1-0. Back with more MASL soccer after this.
Searching for a new vehicle? Antwerpen has you covered with 11 dealerships to choose from. Antwerpen Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, Hyundai, Nissan, Genesis, Toyota, Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, and Chevy. Plus, we have over 1,000 pre-owned vehicles to choose from, certified service departments, and three collision centers. Antwerpen is also home to the 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit any of our 11 dealerships or shop online at jacksaysyes.com. And remember, when I say yes, you pay less. Cat day, house plan day. Second Tuesday of September. Ugly sweaters all December. Jeff paid his parking ticket. Kevin popped his guinea pig. With Wise, entertaining is so easy, you'll have to find new reasons to celebrate. Only at Wise. At Heller Coets, we are all about relationships. And if you know us, you know we love sports. We are especially pleased to partner with the Baltimore Blast this year. We welcome Blast fans to reach out for a trusted and customized insurance review. I hope to hear from you soon. Welcome back to Baltimore. They actually ruled that Zier Hoffer didn't play it. It was off the deflection, so the corner, and Zier Hoffer makes that save. Yeah, nice save. Got down, parried it away. Falud turns it over for Segura. Yelovitz on the far side. Now Da Silva, Walked by Roque. I was gonna say, I, I, I like Lucas for that, that matchup there. Dumped in the corner. Segura turns off the boards, taken away. Good ball up ahead, Thomas. Thomas down the wing. He's got Kalu in front. He can't get there. And the foul is called on Lucio. I'd like to see Kalu actually hold up his run and realize that ball is against the boards right. and he's not going to be able to, you know, so he's just running and he got in so deep. Really? Mellow far side. Goes around Segura. Quick shot. Coughlin knocks that down and corrals it. So, Paul, as, as Mello's taking him, rarely has got to get into a more dangerous position to receive that ball to shoot, not just an outlet pass. Good flick by Dos Santos. Really? And Schindler going at it. It's called a hold. Called a hold on Rayleigh. And Rayleigh's like, what do you want me to do? He's two times the size of me. Yeah, I honestly didn't see anything like that. Yeah, he's got him on the yeah. But but he's as he's holding him, he's holding Rayleigh off as much as Rayleigh is holding him. That's, Very true. It's not much going on there, to be honest with you. Good chance here. Gonzago, two-man wall for the blast. Punch to the top. The Silva shot. Zierhofer the save. Zierhofer has been sharp. Two nice saves. Ozzy settles. Oh, good back heel for Mello. Mello in front. Donatelli shot. Blocked by Gonzaga. Oh, heads up defensive play by Lucio there. So we got to spend a little bit of time with Ozzy before the game. And he has seen two MASL games in his life. One he watched and one he played in. This is the third. And he's making passes like that off the point. He's looking very good, very composed. He's a thick kid. He's got a nice, he's got a really good base. His lower body is thick and strong, so seems to be holding it up well. He, he may be the target they've been missing. Really, ball off the boards is kicked to the corner. Foul call here on Ferdinand as he trips up Hoxie, and it'll be a free kick for Utica City. And going back to Ozzy, I mean, he didn't even get a full camp here. He had to come in late because he was finishing his classes from college. Yeah. What university was he at? Manhattan College. Oh, nice. Right up in New York. Yeah, yeah. Moved to the United States from Ghana yeah. when he was 13. Lived in New York. Everton, blocked by Thomas. Rayleigh heads it forward. Thomas, one on two. Good hold. And some good footwork to move around Bordeaux. Kalu off the bench. Ten minutes in, blast with the early lead. Roquet. 
thought Donatelli was going to go to the boards, and Tony cut it in the middle instead. Coughlin, long pass downfield on the line. Oh. And then ball by Bordeaux off the boards is handled by Zierhoff. Flick towards goal, Coughlin gobbles that up. And Utica City resets. Tavernisi. Natale. Now a three line violation, clearly. Tavernisi making his case. And they'll correct themselves. No, they're gonna they're gonna rescind it. They're gonna say to hit the boards. I think the official just reacted to Official reacted to the, the blast guy screaming there. A free kick. Zierhofer pokes that away. Yelovich could follow off the boards in front. Diesel knocks that down with the chest. Yelovich controls. Ball blocked by Ozzy. Lucio. He's, he's very composed on the ball. Tali back for Lucio. Well, right, right away, we've seen how much Andrew Hawks and Lucio Gonzaga for guys that just came here this week. It's been on the field a lot. I tell you, if I'm David, I'm high pressing this game. The keeper seems to be struggling a little bit with his feet. Ball off the boards, but Ozzy steals. Here's Donatelli, drags it through, goes around Swift. Now Swift pushes him to the ground from behind, so we're going to free kick blast. Right? You're gonna run these guys, right? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I would just I, I would limit the outlet passes, have him go back to the keeper and then high press the keeper. He's having he's having difficulties with his feet. I don't know if it's because of the you know the size of the field, if he's worried. Kalu. Good job by Goldman. Now loose ball. Kalu runs through. Some fancy footwork to the corner, and Dos Santos covers up. Kalu's got to just pass the ball back to Zerhofer early. You can't dribble to your keeper and get two yards from him and then pass him the ball and not expect him to be under pressure. Natale. Just pass the ball. Nobody needs to see how strong you are that you can hold a player off. Natali puts it into the Utica City bench, so we'll get another free kick for the Blast. Blast are questioning the ball. So about the second or third time they've asked about the inflation of the ball, and now they're going to switch ball. Well, both teams have been calling for the switch out. We just were able to get it done now. All right, here's Dos Santos. This is definitely a three-line violation. It's so hard to keep it in the mid in the midfield. Plus, I'm not sure about playing the ball in the in the air. In the air, right? To Jelnovich's area, he's just gonna, you know, just gonna, you know how much you're gonna get out of that. Although Lucas is excellent at bringing the ball down. Right, one of those. Mistakes we talked about. Let's see the Silva, good ball to the corner. Here, Hoffer cuts that off. Segura up top. Now Lucio on the near side. A good pressure defense by Dos Santos. And the Blast are able to defend that yellow line restart. Utica City regroups. And Lucio, ball deflected by Dos Santos. So it'll get free kick here at Utica City with 2.57 left in the first. We've got 2.57 left in the first, and I don't know if Utica's had a really dangerous opportunity. Or like right. a good look on yeah, goal, no, right? Yeah, no, no. Listen, the Blast has done a great job keeping the ball out wide away from uh, dangerous opportunities. I think Zierhofer had one where he dove to his left. Yeah, but that one still, that shot is from an area where you hope yeah. that, you know, he should make that save. Wasn't a lot of pace, and no. he had to come across the goal to make it, but it was a shot that they got on target. But as to your point, though, Lee, Nothing like point blank or no, in no, the no, arc or nothing. Like nothing really dangerous where they either miss a, a shot or Zierhofer have to, has to come up with a brilliant save. They've been doing a really good job of limiting uh, opportunities. Like that's fantastic. Good slide tackle there by Thomas to block that shot. To Silva. Good one touch by Everton and now Yelovich. If I was a blast. I'd continue to just force the ball down out wide because. Utica has some guys who can hold the ball up centrally. Good, good steal by Thomas. He did everything but remember the ball, and now he has to go back and regroup. And the blast will play through Zierhoff. Tip to the corner. Nice ball. Real good ball for Roque. And then right back for Dos Santos. Mello shows in the midfield. 
Blast chain. The Silva deflects. Oh, nudge by Dos Santos back <laughs> for zero. <laughs> Nicely done. Donatelli can't settle. It trickles into the box for Coughlin. That was a really nice run by Tony. I'd like to maybe try to see him one time it out of the air, even just side of the foot, back post. Right? He had a player running, but he's got to get some communication there. That, that, that would have been tough. Tough break for Coughlin. His distribution takes a bounce and goes over the board. Here's the ball for Ozzy. Header loose. Dangerous play by Yelovich there as Ozzy almost got there before Coughlin. Yeah, if, if, I would have liked that ball. So Ozzy actually was posting up in the middle and there was a wide open passing lane there. So I, I would actually like that to his feet in the middle right. rather than in the corner, but he still did well there. But. All part of the process of learning your guys, You're right? What they kidding. like and what they don't like, huh? That's a process. Well, look at Ozzy. I mean, you can just look at him. He's, he's a... There he's it a, is. He's a big man. I got this. Superstructure violation, Utica <laughs> City. First one of the year, Paul. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> and it's no longer subpar. Oh, my God. I haven't it's heard super. that word in a while. <laughs> well, remember, at the arena, it used to be the subpar oh, super, uh, yeah. subpar structure violation. Oh, good move. Oh, I thought Roquet would take a shot there. Instead, he tried to dribble to the top, and it's stolen away by Swift. His drive is blocked. Quick turn and counter by the blast. Rayleigh cut off. Nice defense by Raymond there. I would love to see that one on film because I think Lucas actually did a fantastic job. It was supposed to be a dummy and I think Lucas looked over his shoulders and knew, uh, I think Schindler was there and he was going to pick it for a break so he stuck out his foot and, and took it with him last second. Lucio can't get the foot so Lee, you're saying like it was a defensive play on the offensive series Absolute. almost. Absolutely. Well, look at it. It's, it's what you want as a coach. You draw things up. But listen, if the, if the other team adapts, you have to change. You can't be a robot and just do what your coach drew up because he drew something up. Clear foul there, I thought. But Diesel makes the play. Don't clear off the boards. Two seconds left. One second. Swift runs on. That'll do it as Swift puts it into the netting. So it's the end of the first quarter. The only goal of the first quarter scored by Lucas Roquet. Blast lead it after one quarter of play, 1-0 over Utica City. Back with second quarter action after the break on MSL TV. Every day, all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... At the end of every workday, someone's waiting for your safe return. Connect with your local agent or visit us online. Our country has changed over the last 80 years. At Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield, we're not just embracing this change, we're driving it in our own backyard. As a local not-for-profit, we're tackling some of the region's biggest health challenges and making care more accessible for you by providing access to digital tools, transforming health care for over 3 million of your neighbors, forging new paths to live fearless. Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. GooseStopCoffee.com. It's just good coffee. Oh, welcome back to Baltimore. End of the first quarter. Blast got to go from Lucas Roque five minutes in, and they lead this one 1-0 one after one quarter of play. The official match ball of the MASL is designed and produced by Flight. Flight works closely with professionals and experts at the MASL to ensure the ideal standards for indoor soccer. From training to game day, Elite is the premier partner of choice. Flight, challenge everything. Also, MASLsoccer.com is your home for everything major arena soccer league. All the latest news, standings, and in-depth features with names like Michael Lewis, Michelle Gingras, and more. Bookmark the page now so you don't miss a note. MASLsoccer.com. Shots even at seven after one. Three saves for Andrew Coughlin and two saves for Mike Zierhoff. 
Glass will start things here in quarter number two. Good pace to this game. It's been a good pace to the players coming back on the field after timeouts, too. That <laughs> yeah, was the fastest timeout in the history of indoor soccer. No, I think it, it's been pretty good. I think the Blast obviously has been controlling a lot of play, which you would expect, especially because Utica's got a bunch of new players. I think they're, you know, I think they're content with where they are. I would like to see them put some more pressure on Utica on the offensive end, man. Get, a little, get some more shots off, get some more dangerous runs. We've got a lot of possession. I would like some. Some more shots. Some results, but, right? Yeah, well, just make the keeper make a save, right? Make the defenders make a block. You never know. Sometimes you get rebounds. You know? Especially in this game. Wayne and Gretzky, yeah. you, don't, you don't score every shot you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> I think Michael Scott said that. Uh, look at the shots on goal. 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, that's a lot closer than I would have thought. Nah, but once again, it's what it's what I was saying. Like, the Blast Quality has got shots. a lot of a lot of possession, but... They're not unleashing. They're not. They're not putting them under pressure. Good kick for the blast. Right along the boards. Ferdinand will take this. Play it back for Kalu. By the way, that goal by Roquet, his tenth of the season. Yes. Kalu yeah. cross field for Ferdinand. Max pulls the trigger, but that's blocked. So right free there. line block. So right there, Paul, you have a, a free kick in a dangerous position. You, you, nobody even made a run. They were content with just going back. That is the thing that's so much different about this game now. Usually when you played, everybody was, you scored goals by running into the box. Oh, header just too high for Diesel. Good restart there by Ferdinand. It's a good ball. It's a, it was a little bit unlucky by Mikey. Mike needed to be about two inches taller. <laughs> Segura pressuring Ferdinand, and now Max plays it back for Zierhofer. Zierhofer to the corner. Ball comes out. He doesn't come up. Bordeaux has it taken away, Mello. Mello jumps over the defender. Ferdinand, Rayleigh. Really. Quick shot to the far post just wide. Really nice shot by Rayleigh. 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 I think if he was about three feet further back, it would have curved right in. It was just a little too close. Nice job there. Milovic could clear defensively. Now dangerous play as Sierhoff Ravo chip through. Diesel, touch for Roquet is too far. Milovic now far side, picked up by Mello. Vitalik. Of course, had that amazing goal with Utica from past the yellow line to the top corner. That's his only goal of the season. Turned by Hoxie. Kalu with a good defense and a good ball up ahead. Goes Santos. Adriano shot and a goal! Speaking of first goals, welcome to the goal scoring column, Adriano De Santos. What a fantastic play though by Kalu, like he won the ball, bounced up, and what a great distribution in stride in front of Adriano, and uh, Adriano did the rest. Nice shot, near post. Time of the goal, 150, look at this, there it is, Lee. Great ball right on Dos Santos's foot. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great shot, good pace. I think keeper keeper probably should have been a little bit better than that, but that, that's what's shooting on goal, right? You got, you got to make them make a play. And what a, I got to say, what a nice first touch by Adriano. Put him right, right, into, a, right into a stride for that shot. Oh, so Santos' first goal of the year to go along with his five assists. And for Kalu, his first assist of the year. Comes Utica City now. Bordeaux back forward to Silva. Segura far side, Yelovich. Everton pressured or picked up by Dos Santos. On the back heel for Bordeaux. Sean Thomas, ball hits the corner of the boards, cleared out. Quick wrist shot there, nice touch, but uh, uh, Donatelli clears. Good one touch, Everton far side for Bordeaux. Segura. 
Utica's got a little energy here. These yeah. next two or three minutes, right? These next two or three minutes, you want to make sure you keep them off the board. Don't give them any life. That's, that's exactly right. I mean, you, you always pick it up. There's a pat chance down for Hoxie. Hoxie re rarely recovers defensively. Uh, Hoxie, Hoxie did us a favor there. He wanted to go to his right foot, so he, he turned. He about right. Yeah, he, he, he did basically a, a full circle there to get to his right foot, where if he took it with his left, he's going to goal. Good leave there, but Roquet is able to clean up the other side. Now comes Lucas on the break. Lucas run off by Hoxie. Kicks it away go, from go, go. Gonzaga for a second. Go, go, go. Now Lucio, pressured by Donatelli. Good flick by Everton. Dangerous play here for Gonzaga. Good block, though. Sliding play by Donatelli. And Zierhofer goes down in front of Tavernisi. And that could have been more than just a foul. Nah, I think that, I think you know they're both going for the ball. I think Zierhofer got a little bit because he was from behind. But what a great slide by Tony. Uh, Great job by Zierhofer getting his body in front. You know, it's interesting. The Blasts have relied on Vanzella so much, right, over the years. You kind of yeah. take, it, you take, take it for granted, right? <laughs> so all of a sudden you don't have that, and you get a new guy, and all of a sudden you have to refocus everything defensively, right, because you want to be on your P's and Q's for your new guy, right? Yeah, look, at sometimes you take advantage of your all-star keeper, right, because you know he's going to make saves that he probably shouldn't make. Mello fouled. Huh. And you can even go past Vanzella. I mean, go back Sagu for yeah. how long, right? Uh, I mean, that's Blast, been a tradition of. Blast has had that Heilman, and we had Brett Phillips, who was fantastic. And then you had Sagu, who was fantastic. We, we've, had, we've, had, we've had our share of unbelievable keepers here. I will never forget. Let's do the restart here. First in front, Diesel with the goal. They get it right this time. It's Mello for Diesel, and it's 3 nothing Blast. I love Mello on our free kicks because he can, he just adds a different dimension. He can find players, you know, laying simple passes off, but those little those playing the ball over the top, chips far post. He has the most delicate touch out of all of the players. I, I really like him. He's the most versatile versatile guy that we have on the ball. Uh, so Diesel. That one Goal wasn't too three. tall for him, Paul. What's that? That one wasn't too tall for him. That was not too tall. Hey, that was Mikey's left foot. Give the guy some credit, man. That was a nice left foot finish. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, Diesel with the goal number three on the season. And Melo picks up his sixth assist of the year. The Blast build it out to 3-0. Just getting back to my point, I'll never forget the St. Louis series where the Blast won the championship. And Brett Phillips was in goal for St. Louis. And, and a guy who didn't give up a goal the entire series, okay, that, and that he could control and still lose the series. Yeah. I mean, the goal he lost on was literally a deflection in front upper 90, which he had no chance at all to do anything about. But he was like the best player on the field that entire series and had nothing to show for. Brett, Brett, Brett might have been, it's a tough one, but I think Brett was probably the best keeper I ever played with. Wow. That's saying something. Yeah. For indoor, for sure. Although, look at I, on futsal, I played with Victor Nagara, and Victor was a legend. So I'm just saying, on a team, you know, an indoor team, Victor was fantastic. I think the Blasters are starting to get it. The Santos with the drive there. Oh, breakaway here. Bordeaux with a chance. Run off by Kalu, and they're going to get a blue card on Kalu. I like to see that one again. That's kind of a shaky call. I thought Kalu did a really good job here of actually not fouling him. I want to see this again. Kalu wants the video, Andrew, but I don't think they're allowed to do that, right? Hey. Let's oh, see this. Show it, but they can't look at it. That's a push. That's a foul. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. He got him a little bit in his upper body. Yeah, that's a foul. Yeah. That's two minutes. We should get the shootout here. He's the last man to go. Well, I think that's a pretty good call by the officials. Kalu pleads his case. I don't know if we'll get a shootout. We should get a shootout here, right, guys? Uh, I would think so. He's on a breakaway. Yeah, I mean, he was the, he's the last man to goal, so we'll get the shootout for Utica City. So Lucia will take the shootout, and then if Lucio is unable to score, then we'll get the two-minute power play for Utica City. Utica City on the power play this year, 20%. Let's see, uh, Donatelli just gave Zierhofer some info, so it looked like he was pointing to Lucio's right. Here we go. 
Lucille shot blocked by Zierhofer. A good save there. And Utica City on the power play. There you go. Donatelli gave him some good information. I, th I, I thought I saw him, you know, point to uh, to Lucio's to Lucio's right. Yeah, good call there. Ask Tony about that after the game. <laughs> oh, that touch there. De Silva though runs it down in the near side. To Lucio. It's the return pass. Schindler. Man, Jake Schindler with a big body in there in the middle of that power play. De Silva. I'm surprised Jelnovich is not on here somewhere. Schindler in front. Good run through by Diesel and that foul called a push from behind by Tavernese. He's such a big body, you think you might get him, Jelnovich, in the middle there. He's got well, good, you know, he's got good feet. 120 left. We'll see if they go and change power play units at the one minute mark. And we'll see if Everton yeah, or Jelnovich comes coming, out. Yeah, yes. he's coming in. There he is now, Jelnovich back on the floor. Seems like they've been playing Yelovich a lot on that back line. Foul called on Thomas. Glass rag about six seconds off. It's almost impossible to rag time off on the power play on the, in this arena. Uh, Jelnovich just came in for the long ball so he could, he could hold it up. Schindler. Far side Segura. Now Lucio up top. 55 left on the power play. De Silva and Lucio exchange passes. They go down the boards. Tavernisi in front comes through. Shot by Segura is blocked by Mello. And we're going to corner kick here for Utica City with 46 left on the power play. Great job by Mello. Great uh, job getting it. Yeah, great job reading that, getting it, blocking it off the back. Schindler the restart. De Silva, good back heel. Segura shot. That's wide. Rebound. Zierhofer got a foot on that one. That's a very nice drawn play. 35 left on the power play. Thomas as De Silva looks to call here. Good job by Thomas. I wanted to see him jump that a little bit faster because both guys were on one side. There was no one on this side of the field. Lucio was trying to tell him to come, tell him to come over. There's Lucio now, under 30 left on the power play. Tamarisi flashes out. Lucio. Back to Joey. Oh, bad pass there. Mello got a piece, piece of it, and Thomas clears. Ten seconds left. Maybe one last time for one last play. It's loose in front, headed back. Five seconds. Lucio cuts it back to Silva. Good cut there. Shot blocked. Good work by the Blast D. Power play over. And blasted full strength. Great job by Jamie Thomas. Kalu was late getting to his spot. He wasn't sure if he was going to change or not, but the Blaster able to clear. And a foul here. Thomas gets knocked down by Lucio, and the Blast killed the power play. Zierhofer down in the box. Not sure what happened there, and he came up with a nice save. I'm not sure if he got in the shoulder or it was in the head. Well, Heather Kolbus immediately ran out to the field. Officials, timeout. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one, too. We'll check on the Zierhofer injury when we come back from the break. 8 10 left in the second quarter. Blast lead at 3 0. Welcome back. There you see Mike Zierhofer up. He's up off the field. You also see in that screen, well, here's the replay, and then you see Zierhofer down. Looks like he's going to stay in the game. But look at when you get your chance to play, they better be dragging you off we the were, field. <laughs> we, were, we were that close for Zach Hosler coming into the game, the third string keeper. But Zierhofer's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you, 
<laughs> right, listen, when you get when you're sitting behind William and you get a chance to play, unless you have something broken, please let me guess the right year. Please let me guess yeah, the right year. Yeah, right. <laughs> Man, uh, I guess I shouldn't joke about that anymore. But you know, I can always tell the story. You know, we talk about head coach David Bascom. Tell the story about David Bascom in St. Louis, uh. right? Winning the championship. He was he got hit in the head. Got hit in the head in the second game of the series. Was had had was knocked out. But somehow convinced everyone to let him go back on the field for the golden goal game. Look at back in, I mean, you could get knocked out and go back in the game like back right. then. It, it was just different. Like. All right, so reset here. Blast killed the power play. Now they have control with eight minutes left in the half. Blast lead it 3 0. Lee, to, to clarify, is that what happened with you? Oh, many a times. I remember Bob Lilly put me in a game. I literally could not see out of my right eye. I think 80% of my vision was gone because I got I got a ball to my eye and he was like can you see him like only from the shoulders up he's like that's good Lee you're like cut me Mick cut me Mick <laughs> <laughs> it was weird I had blood in my retina all right blast go through the keeper Zierhofer across the yellow oh, oh good nice ball. ball Dos Santos loses <laughs> the handhold <laughs> little ball surfing there but what a great run what a great ball what a great give and go. Lucas Roja, fantastic vision. Oh, oh, Donatelli slipped through. Coughlin pushes him down and makes the play. That's a good job by Coughlin there. Good aggressive goalkeeping play. I love the intensity right now. A little bit, little bit more direct, getting more on target. You know, we wanted, we talked about them getting more shots off in this quarter. Start to see the blast really too, kind of exploit some cracks in that Utica City D, right? Yeah, you know, that's, that, that's what that movement in the box is going to do. You have a lot of guys who haven't played with each other, so a lot of that movement is going to create some some mistakes. Clear offer clears it around the turn, and Utica City resets. Lucio, good ball up front for Tavernisi, but Zierhofer right there to make the play. Good distribution. Ozzy, a little bit of a bad touch, but that was a tough settle. <laughs> Kalu, Kalu shot, that's off wide off the glass. Kalu bumps Tavernisi in the foul call. Is that the third one on Kalu? Could be, but watch, I don't think so, because yeah, if, if it was, they would have probably taken him off. Good ball up ahead, Thomas deflected. Diesel clears, Thomas has a chance. Thomas off the boards, good ball for Ozzy. Ozzy off the boards in front, it's blocked by Segura. And Ozzy that time just had the wrong angle. No, look, I, honestly, it wasn't good wrong. Ball the I was gonna say, it wasn't a wrong angle. The defender made the run. I thought if, that, if the defender wasn't there, I think it was Jamie was gonna finish that. But actually, I thought it was, you know, really good job. He's, he's a young kid, a lot of times they don't look for the ball off the boards. They're not used to that yet. So I thought, you know, he's done really well so far. I was just being critical. I thought if he played a better angle, he had the far side of the box instead. Yeah. I, but I, I love the ball off the board. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. No, I, I thought it was a good ball. I don't know how that stayed in, but Mello's <laughs> header stays in. Hoxie, double team. Good ball off the boards. Quick flick up ahead. Dos Santos steps in front of Segura, but he wins it. Good ball to himself. Shot. Zerhoff for the save. Schindler heads to the corner. Donatelli picks up Segura with 5'10 left in the half. Really nice play by Segura. Oh, oh, nutmeg by Bordeaux, and Zierhofer says no. Great save by Zierhofer. Fantastic. Oh, ball off the boards in front, and it's cleared. Good touch by Kalu, and the blast reset. That's the way to make the boys in front of you feel good, right? Yes, sir. Roquet knocks this down. Kicks around the double. Goes to the turf, Bordeaux steals. Thomas runs him off, and they'll call Jamie Thomas with the foul. So that's at least two on Thomas. Yeah. Jamie, uh, Jamie's been playing better he's lately. Flying around. Right? Yeah, and that, I think he's realized that that's his game, right? He's got to bring energy. That That's what, it's a big component of his game. To follow up, Clue has won. So oh, the penalty doesn't count as a foul uh, for some reason. That's right. Oh, there you go. Well, because it's a penalty. Yeah. I always thought it counted as both, but that wouldn't be fair. Now you learn. That's the double whammy. You can't do that. <laughs> is that double jeopardy? That's, yeah, that's right, double jeopardy. What is double jeopardy? Utica City plays it in with 4.30 left. 
Hoxie. Pushed off, now back for Lucio. Dos Santos doubles, Vitali. Schindler off the bench, Jelovic. Picked up by Ozzy. Vitali to the corner, good ball for Schindler. Off the boards in front. Jelovic drug it through, but Blast steal it away. The ball up ahead, Ozzy races Gonzaga. They both go down, and they say play on. Tavernisi picks up the junk. 3.53 left. Chance in front, Dos Santos knocks that away. Blast turn quickly, Mello's open far side. But instead, Ferdinand settles. Yeah, we didn't take advantage of that. I, I would like to see Mello just getting a little bit higher and screaming for that yeah, ball. They were tired. Yeah, they could be. I mean, he might be. We'll see. No, I'm talking about off. Utica City was tired. Oh, Utica was. They, they were caught. It was a three v two. They were. They were. They were in trouble. Mello. Max. Here's Diesel. Roque. Dos Santos and Diesel, the goal scorers for the Blast. Now called here on Swift. I haven't, we haven't seen Everton in a, a while here. I don't know if he's even on the bench. Quick restart for Roque. He was on the back end, some work done. It looked like on his lower legs, massage work done. So yeah, we'll track that to see if it's an injury or just getting back into game strength. Yeah, on that three on two that he didn't make it back post when he came off, he, he looked really gasped slash something was going on. Utica City steals and Jelovic triggers from the defensive end. Coughlin far side. Coughlin chips to the box. Headed across. Chested down by Ferdinand and Zierhofer. Controls for the blast with 2.30 left. Everton is back in the bench but sitting on the back area now. Sheer on, quick touch to the box, but Raymond the only player there for Utica City. Great little fight by Jack there, getting a poke. Oh, Segura went through Dos Santos, and Zierhofer made that play. Pereira, we haven't seen Juwan very much. A foul called on Shearer, gets the hold on Da Silva. Yeah, Jack just got caught on the, the wrong Both side, side yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> Lucio comes on, so this is mine. Lucio runs on to take this, two-man wall. I'm, su I'm surprised I haven't seen him shoot more. He's had, a, he's had a few opportunities and he strikes the ball so beautifully. I haven't seen, you know, we haven't seen him unleash anything. De Silva back in front, pinballs around, but Pereira runs that down. Juwan to the boards around the turn. Shearer with a good ball through. Segura runs in front of Pereira. Ball stays in play. Lucio back for his keeper, Coughlin. Coughlin three line violation. All right, let's get Mello back on the field here, right? Yeah, look at that. I mean, for me, it's it's Mello or, or Donatelli that should be on the ball. Looks like it's going to be Pereira instead. Well, let's see what we got. Far side, Donatelli cuts it back. Still has it. Off the boards in front. De Silva knocks it down. Ozzy has it. Quick turn. Boston blocks that. Still loose. Rarely keeps it alive, and Donatelli drives it to the far to the near side here and. High lofting ball up into the midfield. Good settle by Pereira. Pressure by Raymond. Now Zierhofer, 125 left in the half. Good ball for Donatelli. One touch for Dos Santos. Here's Rayleigh. Jeremy over top and goes through the box. And that's where a young player, right? So uh, Ozzy didn't have an idea where to go there. He's kind of like, okay, the ball's in the corner. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I don't know if you noticed, Paul, when the ball gets up top, Ozzy, Ozzy swivels and, and yeah. releases the shot really quickly. He's got a really quick turn shot. Okay, settles. Under a minute to play first half. Kalu overlaps. Okay, holds. Now Thomas, I think, wants to, does he want to get off? No, he's just going to re readjust. Here's Jamie on a run. Down the wing, shot, blocked in front, loose, Max Ferdinand save. Thomas with the re uh, op another opportunity, and it gets gobbled up by Coughlin. 30 seconds left in the half. Can Utica City mount some offense here in the last 25? Hoxie on the target. Turn, taken away, Dos Santos, 
Runs away from Hoxie, plays near side Thomas, Jamie, quick poke, shot off the inside of the front of the uh, post, and out. Oh, okay. that, that would have been a fantastic way goal, to end right? the quarter. Really nice touch. The ball was a little bit behind uh, behind Jamie, but he did a great job getting in front of him. And what composure. Uh, just hit off the inside of the far post and bounced across. You look, little toe poke and doink. Oh. And almost hit the other crossbar across. Man, that close to the Blast having a four goal lead. It's 3 0. Going into half, Roque, Dos Santos, and Diesel with the blast goals in that first half. And hey, not a bad job. Mike Zierhofer making his first start of the season shuts out Utica City in the first half. Yeah, I mean, look, at he hasn't had a lot of opportunities, uh, a lot of saves to make, but he actually has made three nice, nice saves through, through traffic. All right, Paul, we're down here with uh, Coach Neto. He's going into half. You gotta feel real good about that effort coming out. You guys came out with so much energy early on. Why do you think that was? Uh, that was our game plan. You know, we had to Unido had to press them right away to force those turnovers. That's how we got a couple goals uh, from that. We gotta continue to press, but we gotta be careful so we don't get exposed for the counters. Um, and as long as we do that, it could be okay. All right, young guy Ozzy coming on second game here into the blast, first home game. What are you seeing from the young fella? He's a great, great player, great kid. Uh, has a lot of potential. I know it's early. He's still learning the game. It's gonna take a lot of time for the for him to get adjust to the game but I think he's going to be a big asset for the team in the long run. So. All right, and finally, let's talk about Mike Zierhofer getting his first start here at home, playing for the injured William Van Zeller. What are you seeing from him? Unbelievable. I know the young guy that has a lot of talent, came up big, to made some great saves, keeping the team to no goals, a, a half. Uh, this is it's great. Well, fantastic. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good job, Andrew. Blast three, Utica City nil at the half. Back with uh, halftime, we'll do we'll take a look at the first half highlights and uh, recap it a little bit as well when we come back from the break. You're watching Blast and Utica City on MASL TV. Hey everybody, I'm Gianni Tuminello, Vice President and General Manager of the Baltimore Blast. This is our 40th anniversary, 40 years, 10 championships, and millions of memories. I hope you enjoy the video. Up and down that lonely road of faith, I have been there. I'm prepared for the storms and the tides that rise. I've realized one thing how much I love. I believe we can make it through the winds of change.
everybody. I'm Gianni Tuminello, Vice President and General Manager of the Baltimore Blast. This is our 40th anniversary, 40 years, 10 championships, and millions of memories. I hope you enjoy the video. Up and down that lonely road of faith, I have been there. I'm prepared for the storms and the tides that rise. I've realized one thing how much I love you, and it hurts to see, to see you cry. I believe we can make it through the winds of change. Every day, all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because...
connect with your local agent or visit us online. At Heller Coets, we are all about relationships. And if you know us, you know we love sports. We are especially pleased to partner with the Baltimore Blast this year. We welcome Blast fans to reach out for a trusted and customized insurance review. I hope to hear from you soon. Searching for a new vehicle? Antwerpen has you covered with 11 dealerships to choose from. Antwerpen Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, Hyundai, Nissan, Genesis, Toyota, Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, and Chevy. Plus, we have over 1,000 pre-owned vehicles to choose from, certified service departments, and three collision centers. Antwerpen is also home to the 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit any of our 11 dealerships or shop online at jacksaysyes.com. And remember, when I say yes, you pay less. The story is changing. The words ever-evolving. Bolder. Braver. We are architects of opportunity. And what we're building is more than buildings. It's pride. College is capable of being more. And every day, we're proving it. really uh, led to Baltimore's first goal of the game as uh, you know, we've seen this with this rule this year as teams get confused about playing the ball back for their keeper and we saw that here with uh, Utica City. Yeah, I mean look at when you're struggling like Utica is right now, you can't make a mistake like that. They just kind of gifted that goal and Lucas was... <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Really, right. really happy to oblige, but in the back in the net. Goal number 10 of the season, and hey, how about this play? Great feed from Kalu and Adriano De Santos. Just great counter pressure, great transition. Won that ball, got up, didn't lay on the ground, got up, found Adriano, and Adriano with us. A nice shot near post. Adriano's first goal of the year and on the set piece. What a pass by Mello. Great pass. That's not an easy finish. Mikey's jumping in the air, opening up his hip there, finishing with his left foot. But great ball. Like I said, I, I personally love Mello on the ball. Mello's sixth assist. And then how about the breakaway? And the foul on Kalu. And then the great save by Zero. Yeah, great save by the keeper. Uh, maybe a little credit to Donatelli there. Told him he was going right. Some of the saves here. How about the nutmeg? And then Zierhofer getting the hand down to make that. Was, that could be the best save of the half. That that was a fantastic save. Going through the legs, near post. Uh, Zierhofer did a great job to get down. And what's the common thread with all the shots that Zierhofer faced there? They were all low. Utica City taking a concerted effort to go low on the tall Zierhofer. We'll see if that changes in the second half. Tell you about the MASL social media. Get the latest news on the MASL and your favorite teams. Make sure you're following MASL Soccer on Facebook and Instagram and MASL Arena on Twitter. So, not to look too far ahead, Paul, who are you excited about coming into the arena this year? Oh, are you kidding me? You know, you just, all you have to what do teams? is all you have to do is turn the page. You know, we've seen we've seen Ontario, and you know I love wide open soccer. So, of course, the Western Conference or the Western Division, I should say, is what I'm into, right? So, are you kidding me? San Diego. San Diego comes into Baltimore twice. That's 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 in, that's my boy. In March. My, I mean, my old my old roommate, Phil. He's a great guy. He's done such a great job there. It's awesome that Bowers, uh, you know, Sean is the, Sean's the GM there, which is amazing. It's great to see. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't wait for San Diego to come in town. They 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 like to go at people, and Phil really has them. Well, I think they're undefeated, right? Not nine zero and one, seven zero and one. Nine nine zero and one leads the <clears throat> they lead the West Division. Now they have a tricky schedule because they come in to Baltimore. They come in back to back weekends. So is is Phil just going to bring the team out to the East Coast and like hang out for a couple weeks, or what? What, do you, what are they going to do? That's a that's a good question. <laughs> I, I I'll be seeing him tonight on the felt. So we <laughs> we, we got a we got a card game later tonight. Now, so Lee, what I thought was really nice of him was to offer to bring you, me, and Paul out. 
to San Diego for the weekend <laughs> Listen, to watch the game. I mean, that was really generous of him. I, I told him he should sign me. I got like eight good minutes of soccer left in me. Eight minutes of soccer, baby, <laughs> every night. All right, Utica City restarts. Blast lead it by three. Roque runs it down to the corner and clear. Paul and I could say the same thing, but people have watched the halftime game for years. <laughs> right. They know it's not true. It's not true. It's more about like one or two good minutes, really, when you think about it. Once right. a year. Once, that's right, once a year. On, on a good day. Adriano to clears and Roque. Oh, dangerous play by Coughlin as he drew Roque in and just barely got a by. Hoxie plays to the corner. Dos Santos runs it down. Adriano up the boards. Raley, good spin, tries the back heel, but Bordeaux steals that. Segura now along the boards, plays it back. And Vitale will run things for Unica City. Yelovich for Segura. One minute in here, third quarter. Last lead, 3 0. Steal. Mistake by Coughlin. Oh, Mello, Mello. I would have loved to see little him chip. try it. Oh, my little God, chip. absolutely. The keeper was at the yellow line. I know it's on his left foot, but he's got that. He's got that ability. We saw Ozzie. him do that in Harrisburg. Back heel. Ozzy runs it back down along the boards. <clears throat> Good read by Coughlin. So these first five, six minutes are going to be really important. Blast don't want to give Utica any hope. Lucio with the shot. That's blocked by Mello. Here's Max, two on one if he hurries. Max cuts it back. Shot, save, Coughlin, maybe the best of Coughlin's night as he parries it over the board. That's great, look at the Blast, want to continue to put pressure on Utica. They don't want to give them any hope, anything to cling on to. Diesel kind of mishits that volley, and Kalu stands up Segura, or Hoxie, I should say, in the foul called on Kalu. It's a good play, even if that's a foul, you really don't want to create a, a Odd man rush, so just step in. Yep, he just stepped in, just a common foul, no card. Schindler on the far side, Diesel kicks that away. That's mass on mass right there. Yeah. <laughs> Two guards. Da Silva. Still comes across, takes the right foot, that's blocked. Thomas clears. Always want the Silva on that left, on that right foot. Correct? I know, but I honestly would like to see Lucas go at him a little bit there and really, he, he's a, he's faster and stronger than him right now. So I would really like to see Lucas kind of go at him and try to poke the ball away and take advantage of him even when he has the ball. Oh, your man. Bordeaux for Goldman who leaves it back for Segura drive and a goal. Oh, Segura puts it into the back of the nets and cuts the blast lead to 3-1. That was a fantastic shot. I mean, he did a good job. Cut Jamie a couple times. Really laced this one. The bullet. 237 the time of the goal. They haven't gotten Segura the ball enough, but for me, he's been the most dangerous offensive player for them. The goal is unassisted. Last dump it to the corner. Lucio clears. Oh, that's a tough ball. Yeah, it's a tough ball. Zierhofer, though, handles. Rayley. Oh, good ball here for Ferdinand. See how the blast respond now. I'd like to see Max take that with his left foot and go forward. He's got, you know, he's got Lucas going through the box there. I know they want to go to their strong foot, but they're, they're in front of the defender. Why cut back? Free kick for the blast. Pereira. Drive off the glass. Just missed. And Santos settles things down for the blast. Adriano has such nice feet for a big man. <laughs> Pereira far side. For Dos Santos, all he had, Roque. Kalu. Last play with a lot of confidence right now. Mello gets tripped up by Lucio. 
Last one, last bench right in front of the bench, one of the card there. Although, although Lucas is going to have a difficult time getting around Jelinovic, I think he's been in front of him. They got to play that ball into him. The ball to Dos Santos. Not for Donatelli. Roque wanted that. Lucas. Boyd for double team. Dos Santos on Tavernisi. Good touch by Tavernisi to kick it to the boards. Now Mello, room, shot off the boards. Rayleigh the follow, and that goes. I love, absolutely, I absolutely love that though. The second Mello got that ball, he knew what he was going to do with it. He was going to goal, he was taking a shot. Long distribution, Hoxie, that's got to be a foul, right? On Hoxie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Marlin caught in the net. <laughs> <laughs> Got himself the goalkeeper. I gotta tell you, I would love to see Otto Orff on this field. Yeah. Because he, it would literally be like a shot every time no, right, he had the ball in his fire hand. Fire it, right? Just, oh yeah. I've never seen anybody throw the ball like that in my life. Good distribution for Ozzy. Bulls his way to down the boards. Oh, Segur gives it away, but Glass can't can, can't take advantage. Hoxie. Segura got team. really lucky, lucky there. Yeah. You can't you can't dribble across your front of your goal like that unless you're a hundred percent sure no one's there. Very fortunate that didn't end up in the back of the net. Yes. Look at these passing lanes though. Look at the passing lanes that are open straight down the middle when the blast has the ball. They're not taking advantage of it. Okay, I mean, step through. Wow, the middle of that field is wide open. Somebody's got a post up there. Distribution by Coughlin and Segura will control things five minutes into the third. Now, since Utica City got that first goal, the next one obviously huge. That's the isn't that the most dangerous lead in sports? Two goals. Wow, this points, is whatever. this is where our sports stinks sometimes. You dominate an entire game and now you're still in the fight just off of one goal. Good touch. Diesel has room. Back for Roque and really couldn't do much with that. Now comes Utica City. Good work off the boards. Tavernisi down the wing. Good stop by Pereira. Touch to the middle. That's kicked away. And Glass Steel. Oh, good ball up ahead. Here's Kalu overlapping. Kalu shot. And Coughlin gets his calls on that. Kalu got pushed to the ground by Yelovich. Yeah, but they're not going to call that. He got the shot off. He was off balance a little bit when he shot. Segura feeling it. Kicks it into the screen. Goalkeeper for distribution for Mike Zierhofer in the box. Yeah, you bring up a good point there, Lee. You can't have both. You can't get the shot off, and you can't get the foul. So which one do you want? Well, you can't push the guy to the well, turf, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think he pushed him. I think he nudged him as he was hitting it, so he's off balance a little bit. Here's a replay. Nah, uh, yeah, he, he got his hand on him, and I, I think Kalu sold that a little bit. Yep. Or a lot. I got to tell you, speaking of, you know, we were talking about San Diego. Last speaking of my boy Phil, here. he was a fantastic goalkeeper. Yeah, was that right? He, he was one of the best shot stoppers I, I think I've seen. Well, let's take a timeout here as David Bascom will have his team regroup. Segura at 237 has cut the blast lead to two. You see Everton on the field trying to loosen up. We haven't seen him since the first half. Yeah, I thought he was doing some good stuff when he was in. He's got a wrap on his left. It looks like his left quad. But he was doing some good things when he was in there. Look at everything can play, man. He's got a great brain. And in Utica, short time, two goals and three assists. Yeah, I mean, look at he, he can he can play. All right. I will take a timeout. Two, last three. Utica City one on MASL TV. At MedStar Health, we're doing everything we can to prepare for what if. Like what if you need care right now? We have the region's largest network of urgent care centers. Or what if you think you're out of options? Patients continue to turn to us after losing hope elsewhere. Or what if you can't get to care? Our mobile care units bring care to our communities. Because treating people means being prepared to treat them when what if happens. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Every day all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. 
At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... Connect with your local agent or visit us online. Welcome back to Baltimore. Goalkeeper distribution for the blast. And Mike Zierhofer. Is this the first shift for Tim Goldman? No, he's been out there. Is he? Not on a regular shift, but he's been out there tonight. Ball headed away, really. Ozzy, quick. Couldn't quite flick it to himself, and instead got it in front of him, and Coughlin came out and made the play. With one touch soccer here to clear, but Dos Santos wins the ball defensively. Ball bad for Thomas. Thomas off the boards to himself, but Bordeaux cuts that off. Last pressure, Coughlin, steal. Donatelli shot off the off the crossbar and the post where they come together. What a great shot by Donatelli. I actually thought he was lining him up for the cut, but what a nice shot. Tony coming off that hat trick against Harrisburg. And almost had one there. Tony always looks so dapper. His hair is never Perfect. out of place. Oh, never. Perfect. 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 Oh, good ball for Roque, and he bicycle kicks it over the glass into the net. Not real good angle there. I tell you what, he's always a danger for that, though. Side volleys, bicycles. He, he's got a nice knack for it. Hoxie heads it to Zierhofer, and Zierhofer distributes for Roque. Lee, if you want, we can get Tony to tell us what product that is. <laughs> it's, not help, it's not helping me. It's not going to help you? All no. Right. Okay, all right. Not unless I'm using <laughs> it in my goatee. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Lee'd be more interested in Hoxie's product than he would Donatelli's. <laughs> yeah, right. I think Hoxie uses that old school wax they used to use in oh, the, yeah, uh, the 1800s, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It actually, I, I do know this for a fact. It actually comes from a whale bone. Does he has he, a does, whale tusk that does, he grinds. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a whole segment in itself. I was going to say, I'm not sure. I, that's, that's a little disturbing, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> Here's Hoxie now. Oh, touchback. Good, good feed for Segura, and he kicks it up over the crossbar. It's a nice ball by Hoxie. I think Segura needed to take that left foot, and he tried to take it. He went across his body with his right foot, tried to take it outside the right. Got to use the weaker, got to use the weaker peg. Zierhofer not pleased with his defense there. Another distribution for Roque, pushed off by Yelovich. Flicks it to the midfield. Schindler flicks it further. Dos Santos heads it down. Good ball there. Thomas, Roque. And finally, Segura just heads it back for Zierhofer. A little bit of a ping pong match. For Coughlin, I should say. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. There's Pereira with some pressure. Board play. Telly steps in front of that. Tony, yes. Pereira moves forward. Roque flicks it forward. Donatelli blocks. Roque fires it towards the other side, off the boards and into the hands of Coughlin. The Blast is doing a really good job counter-pressing in transition. So they're really not allowing you to get anything set up when they win the ball. And very, very little possession time for you to consider here tonight. No, and I was a little bit surprised that they were leading in shots, 17-14. The Silva, Bordeaux, and this will be a foul on Dos Santos. Stepped in a bit too heavy on Goldman. If the city tries the quick restart, Pablo De Silva not pleased at all with the official. If I think he's correct. They don't need to wait for the whistle there. They played the ball. I, 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 think, I think he's correct. They didn't ask for distance. So the ref, the ref doesn't have to give them distance. He put the ball down. The ball was stationary. So I'd be a little upset as well. Everton back on the floor. Lucio mishits it. Everton steps in. 
Lucio plays it back for De Silva. Zaga marked by Donatelli. 6-10 left. Third quarter. Only goal of the half for Utica City. Schindler backs his way in on Rayleigh. Oh, that's a tough matchup for Jeremy Rayleigh. Aaron pass to De Silva. Forces Utica City back. I like what Jeremy's doing though. He's actually, he's fronting him a lot, so he's not allowing him to post up. It's actually kind of smart. Coughlin plays the boards and Schindler wins it. Vitale shot blocked. Thomas steps in and clears. Bordeaux settles with 5.30 left in the third. Nudic has had a little possession here over the last couple of minutes. See what they can do with it. Good ball by De Silva. Vitale now for Hoxie. Rayleigh now takes Hoxie. Quick turn. Blocks that. Hit Rayleigh's down. Thomas near a steal. And Bordeaux gets called for the foul. Rayleigh's still down in the corner. I think it caught Jeremy's toe and it twisted his knee a little bit. It's one of those you kind of reach out and catches the front of your foot and twist your knee a little bit to stinger. Zierhofer across to the yellow. Plays for Ozzy in the corner. Ozzy plays the ball to himself and now back for Kalu. So just kind of just kind of killing time here. Ferdinand called for the foul. Delovich. Tavernisi. Oh, good read by Mello. How about that? I gotta tell you, if I was Utica, since they're not, they're not really getting anything out of the build, right? So they're they're not getting much out of the creativity out of the build. I think I would put, I think I would put Yelmovich up top, man, and see if you can just play some longer balls, post him up, get some runs off him. He's got he's got nice feet. He's a big guy. He's got nice feet. He holds the ball up well. I mean, we've seen him play that position before, right? Yeah. You're not getting much, right? So you're not getting much in the build up. You're not creating a lot of opportunities. So maybe just to change pace a little bit, play maybe a little bit more direct into the corners, but then you got to get runners off. They're playing it, and they're, when they do play it, they have an umbrella around them at the top of the arc, and they're not getting runners through. That's not this time. Yelovich a little too physical that time with Roque, <laughs> and this time he gets called for the foul. I think he's saying he's twice the size of <laughs> Well, I mean, he's, he's actually Lucas. been pretty adept at giving that little nudge a few times tonight. Oh, yeah. But that time it was just a little bit too much. Pereira off the boards. Donatelli flashes through. Coughlin comes out to make the play. Blast keep it alive. Dos Santos. Back heel for Donatelli. Dos Santos. Referees in the way. Donatelli shot. That goes just wide. Roque. A shot and a goal. Lucas Roque from a bad angle. And it's 4 1 Blast. I tell you, I, I, I said it earlier, right? Bicycle, side volleys, like he does a really good job of contorting his body and getting shots on target. That's a, that's a hard, that's a tough angle right here. This is a tough angle. So Santos will get, or Donatelli will get the assist here off the deflection off Raymond and then into the back of the net. I mean, that's a tough angle running away from the goal, the ball spinning away. Lucas does a really good job of rotating his hips. Getting over the ball, it's a fantastic goal. Okay, goal number 11, second goal of the night, 10.58 the time of the goal. Tony Donatelli picks up his second assist of the year. Bordeaux down the wing, off the turn, loose, Hoxie in front, Segura misses just wide. And Zierhofer pounces on it. Uh, quick back heel, three lines. <laughs> Bordeaux just looks to the sky and goes, come on, man. That was a great back heel flip. I got to see that one again. He didn't argue it. I didn't. Oh, I, he, was, he was behind the yellow. Was look. he? Yeah, lot. Oh, here's the replay of the, the this just why. Yeah, Hoxie, Hoxie played him a little bit too far in front there. Back to live action, and this one goes over the glass. What a, a goalkeeper distribution with 3.37 left. What a, what a big goal by Lucas now, right? So if uh, 
If he doesn't put that in, it's you know it's three one, and they squeak one in, and it's a one goal game, and you're you're in a dog fight. Well, the Santos climbs the ladder and climbs over the top of Schindler's back. And I think Jake's big enough; he could have gave Adriano a ride. <laughs> But it'll be a free kick and it'll be a restart for Utica instead. And seriously, if Jake's that big, he could like give Adriano Tony just, prize, right? Adriano just asked Jake, he's like, was that a foul? <laughs> <laughs> Lucio triggers the restart. Oh, between the legs, but to no one in the box, and now 3 2 for the blast. Ball behind Ferdinand, he gets. Oh, I would have. Puts it in front, but it's just a little too far. I would have. I'm not sure if he was calling, but I would have loved Played for Kalu way. to scream, scream yeah. for him to hold it one more second. Oh, steal here by Roquet. Kalu up ahead. Good flick. Kalu to the corner. Max was running on. Kalu. Shot. Goal! Kalu from a bad angle. It's 5 1 blast. <laughs> wow. That was a tight angle. What a great shot to bend it far post from that angle. I think his shoulder was against the boards here. I got to take a look at this again. I mean, he's really deep there. And I think he used, Coughlin had to respect Ferdinand running to the box, right? And I think he came off his line just a little bit because of that, and Kalu took advantage. Does that go inside the keeper? It's, it's hard to tell no, I think from this angle. Did, I did it, it? I think it went inside Coughlin and the near post. Utica City's called a timeout here. Great finish. Great finish. Great recognition for the keeper if he saw the keeper leaning. And again, how about that heads up play by Roquet to just flick the ball down the boards and let Kalu run onto it? And this is, you know, that's part of his intelligence, right? So you have a team that's, you know, not great at getting back. You're using your athleticism a little bit there. For Kalu, goal number one on the season. So he's got his first goal and his first assist here tonight for the Blast this year. Yeah, it's nice to see Kalu back with the boys. It'll take him, you know, it'll take him a couple weeks to, to round into shape. But uh, that, that's, you know. Well, I mean, it's, it's good to see him on the field. I mean, that, that fourth quarter in Harrisburg took, kind of like twisted his foot into the turf and then twisted his knee and left the game and didn't return. It was good to see him in the lineup tonight. Isaiah Dorsey on the field for one of his few shifts here tonight. 3.07 left in the third. Now with it, some pressure by Ozzy. Now, Telly, two minutes for, I think, an elbow. He maybe got up high on Yelovitz. Now, those two come together. Tali pushes. Donatelli. Well, if you're Utica City, you don't be dumb here. You got the power play. I'm not sure what Yelovitz is upset about. I mean, they called the foul, they called the, or they called the two minute penalty. Donatelli got punished. I don't understand. I mean, he's been pushing blast guys around all night. Here's a replay. And, you know, and Tony was just trying to ward him off. It no, wasn't Tony, intentional. Yeah, I mean, look, Tony was just putting his arm up. He just happened to get him. He knew he was yeah. he's stalking him from behind. He didn't want to end up on the ground. So it's a two-minute power play for Utica City with three <laughs> minutes left in the third quarter. Did, did Vitaly try to get in the middle of that? Yeah, he did. He's like a buck ten. Right, I know, I know. It's like a snack for Diesel. All right, here we go. It's De Silva, Lucio, Segura, Schindler, and Tavernisi on the power play. Blast it up in the box. Segura touched to the corner. Zierhofer pounces on that one. Last kill, the first 30. Nice play by Lucio. Got to figure out a way to rag time here. And every time you throw the ball down the field, it just ends up being like four seconds. Yeah, but... The, but then you, you can't really put it in front of you because then no, you risk the three-line pass. You, and well, you had to because they had three guys high. Right. So it was a two-on-two. -two. 
deep, and that's where you play the numbers. Maybe you just accept the fact you're never going to rag time here, right? Mm, well, it's hard. You right. just got to get you got to get past that first, you know, the initial pressure. Well, I do have one shorthanded goal here so far this year. Oh, Thomas with the near steal. Yeah, here if you make a bad pass, it turns into instant offense. Segura yeah. drive. That eludes the head of Tavernisi on that back post, and 43 left on the power play. Good pass from Schindler off the crossbar. 30 left. A good ball by Lucio. De Silva keeps it in play. It's blocked by Diesel. De Silva again, good touch, Schindler. Lucio, shot. I'm sure if it was blocked by Dos Santos or Zierhoff or maybe no, Adriano. That was, that was Adriano. Adriano cleared that one. A really nice strike uh, by Lucio. Corner kick. Utica City with 17 on the power play. Good hedge by Thomas. Lucio, De Silva, and Dos Santos steps in. The ball cleared back, seven on the power play. Maybe some time left, Pereira comes on. Two seconds, one second, power play killed. Segura blocked by Mello. It'll be a kick in for Utica, but the power play's over. Great, great job, great job by the Blast. I think they let up probably one shot there. Probably the play of the power play was the block by Dos Santos. Yep. Ball off the boards, good cut by Donatelli. Move forward for Pereira. Juwan cuts back, Donatelli off the post! Oh, Tony just a little bit too far. What a great run by Tony. What a great run. Hard, far post, uh, just unfortunate. Really good vision, played him a good ball, just a little bit too far in front of him. I didn't think he had any chance to get there, and then he got there and still put it almost on goal. Here's the replay. Oh, no chance, and then he slid in and just missed. Uh, it's a great, great run by Tony. You could see him calling him that he was going, he was making that run. 30 seconds left in the third. And go, Lucas, there you go. Make the keeper make decisions with his feet. Okay. Off the hand of Yelovich, play on. 20 seconds left. Good ball for Tavernisi, gets around Kalu, shot off the boards, Dos Santos steals. 13 left. Adriano, three on three. Ferdinand, Dos Santos, Roque, can't get a foot on it. Lucas off the boards in front. And that'll do it, end of the third. Blast outscore Utica 2-1 in the quarter. And we head to the fourth with the Blast on top by a score of 5-1. to one. Back with fourth quarter action after the break. You're watching MASL Soccer on MASL TV. You don't see
We're going back fourth quarter on the way here in Baltimore. Fantastic job by the Blast cheerleaders at the third quarter intermission. Blast with goals from Lucas Roque, a pair. Adriano Dos Santos, Mike Diesel, and Kalu. The Roque tonight lead two goals and an assist. Great response. Look at you could you could put your head down. You're controlling a lot of the game. You're up 3-0. You got you're in firm control of the game. And then Utica gets a goal. You know that that could have turned the game a little bit, but Blast didn't put their heads down. They kept at it and you know put two away and then kind of opened up a bigger lead there. The big story though, coming into tonight's game, William Van Zell out. Mike Zierhofer making his first start of the season and look up at the scoreboard, he's given up one goal through three quarters. And he's starting to feel himself, you know, guy, when guys aren't defending well, he's barking at them, he's feeling more comfortable, he's getting more in command back there. Well, it was funny, we talked with William Vanzella before the game and William said, he told me, he said, you know, you know, we've been together for a couple years and I know you like watch what I do, but you can't, you can't play goal like me, be you, do what you do best and you'll be fine. And we've seen Mike play extremely well today. Well, I think what was really cool about this breakaway here. Not quite, but three on three, good recovery. Oh, That's Ferdinand a, was yeah. alone. Good look by And Yelovich blocked it. Great look by Melo. Look but to at circle the, back on that, Paul, with, with uh, William Vanzella, what I also thought was neat was he was talking about that was a lesson he had to learn coming in replacing Segu and learning how to be his own goalkeeper here in Baltimore. So passing that along and, and giving that information to Zierhofer. It's a, it, listen, that's a learning lesson all players have to realize, right? Field players, goalkeepers, it doesn't matter. What makes you successful? And you have to figure that out. And unfortunately, a lot of guys really don't figure it out. Yeah, it always fascinated me, especially like in basketball. I mean, and watch these guys come out and immediately in basketball, what does everybody do now when they come out to warm up? They run to the three point line. Yeah. But I mean, it was, if, it, if it's me, if, if I'm a big man, where I'm gonna find my like seven foot place that I love to shoot from, right? And just find that spot and just do that spot, right? You have to find out what makes you successful and you know, and you just gotta be great at that, right? And that's a lot, a lot of that too is when you build a team and you come, have guys come together, what's your role, right? What's yep. your role? Chance for the blast, Donatelli, good block. It's a uh, Soma that's in the game for the first time in a while. Well, it's funny you talk about role, Paul. When you talk about this blast team, no matter what it is that you do, your role better be to play defense in addition to doing what you do. And that's yeah. what's been tough for the blast is to find players not only that are great indoor soccer players, but willing to commit to the team defense model. I uh, look at that's been the hallmark of this team for Forever. since I've been here, right? Forever, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we had that during our years and our run with championships. Danny Kelly was fantastic with the defensive end. Ozzy turns Ozzie. and blisters one yeah. into the net. <laughs> Ozzy, great turn, and I think his eyes were the size of uh, <laughs> saucers. He saw that goal, man. Wait, wait, wait. Would, Am I that close? <laughs> I, mean, I, I think he wound up so, so much as the heel hit his back. And Lee, since your point earlier, we still haven't seen Everton come back on the field. So yeah, and that's been a blow to, to uh, Utica. That's that's been a blow because he he was doing well when he was in there. He settles it down. He holds the ball up. He's got really good soccer IQ. That obviously is, is a blow to Utica. Raymond called for the push. The only way you stop that stuff, Raymond push uh, Ferdinand away from the ball. The only way you stop that is to call a foul. Yep. I mean, uh, three liner there by Zierhofer. So we're gonna restart at the yellow line for Utica. Guess who's gonna take it? Yeah, Lucio. Lucio. Wouldn't surprise me if he puts this one on cage. No? He's gonna play it off again. De Silva, good touch. Oh, nice give and go for Hoxie, but De Santos sniffed it out. Here's Adriano. Adriano, that's gotta be two minutes, absolutely. Lucio stepped in front. And we'll get the power play opportunity for the block. Yeah, they went from a really good, nicely executed play by Utica Hawks. He's just got to, he's got to play that firmer and then great counterattack here. I mean, you know, Lucio's going to complain, but you know, you're, you're, you're preventing a scoring opportunity by interfering with a player going to goal. It's a no brainer. Yeah. No, it's not going to be a shootout. I don't think he I was the last man to goal. 
I think there a, were defenders back. It yeah. was a good obstruction. Like he didn't hit him. Right. He just stepped in front of him. I've seen that not call the two minutes. Put it that way. But. I but agree. it is. It's, it's, but it's, it's a penalty. It should yeah. be called every time if you want scoring in this league, right? The Blasts have nobody down low. There, there we go. Somebody down low. Now no one in the middle. Mello, Donatelli. Now here's. There we go. We're getting a little shape now. Shot off the. Boards wide by Donatelli. Lucas has got to get there. He's got to get down low when the ball's on the opposite end of the field. Pereira off the glass. Keeps it in play. A good steal. Chance for Swift, two on two. Melo gets back. Oh, he drags it. Shot off the uh, post. And Vitali wins the ball. Blast win it back. Good ball. Ferdinand. Donatelli. Last reset, 56 on the power play. Roque tries to feed Mello. That's blocked. The middle, the middle of the power play is wide open. I'd like to see somebody post up there in the middle and just kind of knock balls off. Got a telly shot blocked. Good work. Ball chipped forward. 35 left on the power play. Mello. Okay. Pereira. 20 seconds left. We could cut back. Okay. Shot blocked. Max. Shot. Oh, just wide. And Coughlin recovers for Utica City. 10 seconds left. <laughs> Utica better get some subs here. They're gassed. Timeout Utica with 10 11 left. I did ask David about that. And the power play. Here's the that last play and Max, good recovery. I think that was Bordeaux that got a piece of that. I asked him about that whole because you know sometimes they'll put Max in the middle and they'll run that middle power play mm -hmm. through the box. And he, he said it's, it depends on the situation. You know if I'm up, if I'm up four or five goals and I'm worried about a counterattack, you know I'll pass the ball around the outside and you know kind of run some time off the clock and not force things to where I could get a possible turnover and maybe if I got a guy I'm not confident that could get back on that power play then you know I'll do some th different things but yeah I, I look at you're on a power play you got to score right you're, you're attempting to score you're not trying to keep possession even if you're up three goals right so I like that that middle guy actually it, it benefits you on both ends because that middle guy helps him to transition defensively as opposed to more guys around the outside in an umbrella formation. So having that guy there not only right forces the guys on the top of that, that box to pinch in, but it also helps with counter pressure if you lose the ball. So six seconds left on the power play and Coughlin will distribute for Utica City. To the corner for Hoxie. Andrew holds, good ball, two seconds, one, and the power play over. So even strength for Utica City, down four with 10 minutes to play. Oh, good ball, three on one, Max has room, turns, shoots, Coughlin the save, and he gets a piece of it on the rebound and keeps it out of Mike Diesel's foot. Good, good patience by Max, a couple pump fakes, got the defender on the ground. Hoxie far side. This time it's Thomas with the D. Bordeaux. Tavernisi with nine and a half left. Here we go. The ultimate conversation here in Baltimore. <laughs> when do you go sixth attacker? <laughs> That's my question, Paul. I mean, does, does, do you bring you, gotta, you bring your keeper up at least, right? At least to the yellow line. Especially with the way Coffin wow. play in this field, I think you do start to to look for that. I'm not, I'm not sure I would bring the keeper up. He's, he hasn't been very good with his feet. Like if he's, you know, if it's William, absolutely. William's like having another field player out there. Ozzy around the turn, banks it in front. Still has it in Pereira. See, I love that play by Ozzy. I mean, he just wins the ball and puts it out into a position where somebody can make a play and score. Here he is again, good settle. Moves the ball quickly. He's that true target forward in that body and position. He just 
natural to him. So the Blast run off another minute with possession. Down to eight and a half in the fourth. Oh, good header. Somehow shoots it wide. Oh, off the crossbar. I think that was Vitali on the far side. A couple near misses by Utica City. You can't have those trying to come back from four goals. No. Look at right now when you're struggling, you know, on the on the field, you, you've got to take every chance you get. You can't make silly mistakes. Like all the little things obviously make a huge difference when you're struggling in a season. Talked about it at the open. Utica City. Great seven rotation, in a row. Tony. Tony, fantastic. Even though he didn't pull that off, fantastic rotation. Right? Yelovitz. Well, we just haven't seen Yelovitz be part of the offense tonight, have we? No, I mean, he's been more of a, you know, that steady presence in the back. Lucio, Hoxie, fakes the shot. Lucas City changes, the Silva on, along with Raymond. Segura far side. Now Schindler on. Raymond heads it to the corner, Zierhofer around the turn. Schindler can't control. <laughs> Everybody goes around the turn. Yeah, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what Schindler was doing there. Clear. Raymond out battles Kalu, and Da Silva runs it down to the midfield. Blast will take this, 6.45 left. Basically just running clock here in the fourth. Still haven't seen a shot in the last two and a half minutes from Utica. Now they get one and score. Wow, the first shot from Utica City in a while, and they find a way to get it past Zierhofer and cut the lead to three. I'm gonna watch this back. I think, does Lucio go, does, does he go through his legs on that one? I think he actually yeah, intentionally maybe. went yep. through his legs on that one. So I believe Lucio will get the goal here. And Utica City cuts it to three. Back with more fourth quarter action after the break on MASL TV. There's one thing I want you to do for me. What? Come here. What? Win. Win. What are we waiting for? No one comes into our house and pushes us around. Let me ask you something, Mr. Campbell. Uh-huh. What kind of power you got? Oh, man, you know I got some soul power. I'm as bad as hell. I am not going to take this anymore. This could be the greatest night of our lives. We shut them down because we can. They don't know your heart. On this team, we fight for that inch. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Five two blast the Utica City goal some uh, controversy. It's not it's not Lucio, Jonathan or originally Quentin Swift was credited, but I believe they're going to give it to Schindler. We'll double check. And two minutes here on Dos Santos, and now we have a situation where Utica City has a real good opportunity now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He just popped up. I mean, Adriano got him, but he, he didn't mean to get him. He was just late there. Goldman back up. Dos Santos heads to the penalty box. The Blasts were close to scoring there. And literally five seconds later, it becomes a Utica City power play. Goldman does well there, because you know you're going to take a hit, right? So you toe poke it away to take the hit there. All right, so Utica City 0 for 2 on the power play, including Lucio's missed shootout opportunity. 
It came in at 20%. Shot saves here, Hoffer. They can score on this one. They can improve their power play. Shot, Zierhofer gets a piece of that. Donatelli clears, Pereira in front of Lucio. Lucio wins the battle. They'll regroup, first 30 killed by the Blast. Even if you don't kill this lead, you want to try to take the power play as far as you can because we're under six to play in the fourth. Yeah, look, you want to take it down as far as you can. Obviously, you always want to kill it. Um. Good block by Pereira. He's excited about that. Schindler. Shot just wide to Silva. Seerhoff for the save. Mello, three lines. Just over the yellow. Yeah, just a little bit. Silva's got a nice left foot. Yellow line restart. Here's the replay. Yellow line restart. That's a good save. And then the yellow line restart here with 102 left on the power play. I can't believe Lucio hasn't shot yet tonight. That's unbelievable. Not one. Segura to Silva. Good ball here. Loose in front. Zierhofer pounces with 50 left in the power play. And that was actually, Segura's got to do much better there. That was actually a really nice play. He's, he's got to get that shot on target with some force. Schiller runs it down. Plays through Coughlin and 35 left on the power play. Under five to play. Blast by three goals. Lucio, the touch to Schindler. Shot blocked. Thomas steals. Two on one for the blast. Thomas and Mello. Thomas, shot, save, Coughlin. I don't know if Jamie realized that he had Mello on the far side. Good yeah, job, got... Thomas rags some time. Gladly. He's got to get that ball across, and then he, it's fine. He took the shot, but then he, he got the rebound, and you got to bring it out to waste some time. Blast killed the penalty. Blast the even strength. 4:15 left. Lucio shot blocked. Ball gets behind Hoxie. Coughlin runs on. Coughlin struggling. Loses it. Donatelli chip towards oh, he goal. Did him. There you go. <laughs> Donatelli from long range, 6-2 blast. He did him. What, what, a, what a nice touch that was. Great shot by Donatelli. Tony, fantastic, fantastic presence here. Time to go 11-02. Well, you called it, Lee. And how about the effort from Adriano Dos Santos, pursuing that from the box all the way around. He forced that turnover. Absolutely. Adriano did a great job. And even, even Andrew Hoxie not tall enough to get that one. <laughs> that was a great shot. And you called it. You said, no, don't bring Coughlin forward. And you saw when he came forward there. Yeah, he's just not secure enough with his feet. Sixth attacker for Utica City here. Oh, yeah. Lucio down the jersey. Under four to play, down four. That's a, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's uh, a big turnaround from having a chance to cut it to two on the power play to being down four just a minute later. Still a lot of time left. Blast want to put one, another one in the back of the net here and end this. The Santos steals. Herrera gives it away. Mello steals. The Santos flick towards goal. Goal, Mello! Are they calling foul there or goal? It off. No goal, Mello. They call a pushing foul on Mello. <laughs> Man's not happy on that one. A little bit of contact, no yeah, question. Just a tad. Look, God, if he doesn't get it. Just a tad. Oh, oh yeah, he got, he got him. He got him. Little two-hander from behind. Yeah, little little two-hander from behind. It was subtle. <laughs> it was subtle, but when you see the reverse angle, yeah. not that subtle. <laughs> All right, 3.15 left. Blast still by four. Here's Mello again. The ball, Donatelli, Donatelli, Pereira, score! Juwan Pereira puts it away, 7-2 Blast. Two very unselfish passes, like Mello could have put the ball in himself, he plays it to Tony. Tony could have put the ball in, and then he plays it to Juan, who slots it home. We'll see it again. 
no chance for Lucio. No, two, re really, just two very unselfish passes. Time of the goal, 11.55. Two goals in under a minute have secured this one for the Black. Because I know some guys back in the day who would oh. not have been, who would have. Reeled it from behind the, <laughs> the field. <laughs> who would have not been giving that ball up. I remember watching some guys that would have kicked it from behind the yellow line, right? Oh, <laughs> it's like salivating when the keeper comes out. That is all she wrote. Yeah, three minutes to play, five goal deficit. Coughlin back in net. In all serious, I know we're joking, but that, listen, that's a great sign. Oh, that's Palou, that. far side, Thomas. Thomas off the boards in front. It's Ferdinand, shot block. That, that's a great sign as, of, of a team that's coming together, right? Not selfish, looking out for one another, doing the right thing even when they're blowing a team out. Seven goals. It's Lucas Roque with two and five others. When the Blasts are playing their best, right? It's all everybody contributing, everybody scoring. Yep. 40 left. Last off the rest of this weekend. Next up, Friday night against Harrisburg here in Baltimore. Oxy clears. Raymond goes around to Santos. Zierhofer blocks it and pounces. Raymond did well. Did well to get around Adriano there and then just Kind of got caught up with the ball under his feet. Good header back for Coughlin by Schindler. 2.05 left. It's Roquet. With two goals and an assist. Foul on Mello. Tony Donatelli. A goal and two assists tonight. Three points. I'll tell you what, though. I think there's only one player of the game, though, right? Nope. Mike Zierhofer, two goals yeah. allowed. You got to go with the backup goalie coming in and only giving up two goals, right? I would think so. Well, as the guys that get to pick it, I think we get to say that. <laughs> Schindler turns, <laughs> blocked. Out come the blast. Pereira, three on two. Leaves for Ferdinand. Max holds it up, and Ozzy runs on and plays for Mello with 120 left. Blast looked to rag some time here. Giving go Mello Donatelli down the boards. And look at Ozzy run on in front of Vitali. Back for Mello, makes Utica City chase with a minute to play. Santos, Donatelli, over the top, same Coughlin rebound, Ozzy denied. So Santos a drive over the top of Donatelli. And out of play for a free kick for Utica City. <laughs> Adriano, Blast are just having fun now, right? Adriano's, he's jumping. He wanted, he wanted so badly to get that to Donatelli. All right, so play it out here. Goldman in the corner. Drags it through, shoots it off the glass. You say out of play, so we'll get a... <laughs> Williams down there reffing. Oh, right. <laughs> Just like it was when he playing, isn't it? Uh, it's good, good to see him up and around, man. He's okay, so hopefully he won't be out too long. Final chance here for Utica City with 25 left. Segur off the boards in front. Goldman's header knocked away by Zierhofer. Goldman. Takes down Pereira. It's really good to see Jawan back tonight. He missed the Harrisburg game. No three line violation. <laughs> Goalkeeper distribution for Utica City. Jelovic. Raymond, shot just wide, rebound, wide. Two seconds, one second, that'll do it. Blast win this one, 7-2 the final. Team win tonight for the Blast League. Absolutely, look at I thought that the energy level from the beginning of the game was great. It's awesome, look at, it's awesome to see William 
out there and he's, you know, he's excited for the boys. And it's, it was a team win, top to bottom, I think, you know, what do we have, five different goal scorers? Uh, seven goals, six different goal scorers. Roque, Dos Santos, Diesel, Kalou, Donatelli, and Pereira. That's great. Boys shaking hands at midfield. Like I said, Blast have the rest of this weekend off. Face Harrisburg on Friday. Harrisburg in Dallas tonight. They trail 1 0 early in that game. I mean, you know, we're going to give player of the game option to Zierhofer, but I think, you know, Donatelli and Roque, again, the, the savvy veterans for the Blast. Yeah, I think either Roque or Donatelli would have been, you know, someone who could have got player of the game. But Zierhofer, look, it's your first. Uh, it's your first start, your first win. I love the fact that William was out there right after the game, giving him a hug, you know, pumping him up. Uh, so it's awesome to have two keepers who are capable. So Blast play Friday night against Harrisburg. Take a look at our save of the game first before we do our player of the game. It's all kind of looped in together. Well, we'll save that. And instead, we'll go down for our player of the game. Mike Zierhofer standing by with Andrew Primrose. Introduction. I can do an introduction for you, but the problem is there's Gary, so he does the introduction. No? All right, we'll just do it for the broadcast. Yeah, let's do that. We'll to give us one second. <laughs> there we hey, go. Listen, we'll it's a big mics. night for Mike. We want to get him in the arena, right. too. So we're in the arena now. So, Gary, thanks for that introduction. Mike, you got a fan club up there. You got a whole skybox, huh? Yeah. Look at that up there. They're all, they're all coming down for the uh, autism awareness game, and it turns into, you know, of course, the circumstances are terrible, but happy with happy with being able to play in front of them and play in front of this club for the first time. It was, it was incredible. The guys played awesome. Happy to do my part. So this was your first career win in Baltimore. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means a ton. You know, I've I've had a really good relationship with a lot of the great fans, um, and it's always oh, when are you gonna play in Baltimore? When are you gonna play in Baltimore? My first four games have all been on the road, so it's been a it's been a pleasure to finally do it back here. All right, so let's go back. You're playing in Harrisburg. You're on the bench. You know, you're behind one of the best goaltenders in the history of the MASL, right? It's kind of like backing up Derek Jeter, Cal Ripken. You get your opportunity to come in. It's a close game. You do very well. What is your mindset coming in there? Honestly, it was a lot more calm than I was expecting because, you know, William's been our captain, starting goalkeeper, and unofficial goalkeeper coach for my entire time here. So he's given me so much information that I've been able to use. So going into that moment, uh, with all the training we've done before, it was just tunnel vision, and yeah, you just you just do what you've been practicing the whole last three years. <laughs> so, so three years, you're in front of the skybox, your own skybox here. Great crowd at home. Talk about your emotions starting tonight. It was awesome. I I had a great. I was calm, obviously nervous, but it was a perfect balance of calm, nervous, and excited. And by the time I stepped on the field, I just couldn't start smiling. It was an absolute treat. Get a couple saves under my belt. Get a couple, I hit a couple times, really gets me in the right mindset. And then it was just an absolute thrill. The guys played awesome in front of me and happy to do my part. So let's talk about that. You guys came out with a ton of energy to begin this game. Why was that so important for you guys to play so hard early on? Uh, we've gotten bitten by the injury bug, as every team has. So, you know, we want to play extremely well for each other. The guys had my back. And, of course, we want to play great for William being forced to step out. So it was, we were just building out the momentum from the last game, and everybody really came together. We had a little lull in the third quarter, but, we, you know, it took a great time out, reset our mindsets, and right back to it. What do you want to say to the crowd? Oh, my God, it's unbelievable. It is. It's an absolute treat to be out here, happy to do it, and happy to send them home with a win. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad, and everybody. 
<laughs> there you go. All right, well, congratulations. Your first career win at home. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. There you go, Mike Zierhofer, the player of the game here for the Blast. Lee, the, the Blast really came out tonight and really took control of this game early on. Yeah, look at They came out with tons of energy. So you get a ball here, they, you get a Utica mistake, and that kind of got the Blast going tonight. Yeah, I mean, this was a present. <laughs> Put it on a platter for Lucas. And when you're struggling as a team, you, you can't give up those opportunities. You can't self-inflicted wound. Kalu back for the blast and a great pass to set up Adrian DeSantis. Great defensive, great defensive tackle, wins the ball, and what a nice ball to Adriano who finishes it in your post. Great, great first goal, then how about an assist from Melo? Yep. Nice movement by Diesel back post. That's a, that's a difficult finish. With the left foot? Yeah. Three, one, three, no, three off the blast. The Utica would get a goal back in the third. A great finish from Segura. Yeah, I think this goes through. Nope, nope. It was on the outside of uh, Jamie. But yeah, really nice strike. Blast would answer, though. Roque from a bad angle. Wow. Right? You, so you said it from anywhere, right? Yeah, he does a great job. Look at He does a great job of contorting his body in the air to finish those. How about a worse angle? Here's Kalu. Here's uh, Kalu. His first goal of the season. Upper 90, far side from like almost the corner of the boards. Yeah, the keeper was, I feel like the keeper's a little bit out of position there. He's like two or three yards in front of the post and so unfortunate. Yeah, Utica City sneaks one by here. Schindler gets that one for Utica City, but the blast would finish him off. Call for the mistake, Donatelli the sweet finish. Yeah, that was a class finish. I mean, <laughs> he, drops it, he drops it right over Hoxie's head. 6-2 blast, and then the unselfish goal as Pereira, the beneficiary of a couple great passes. Yeah, and, and it goes unnoticed, but look at the weight of that pass, where the pass was. He doesn't have to break stride. He's not, it's not like he's, you know, Donatelli shooting it at him. So it was a pretty easy finish. Blast moved to 6-4 and four on the season. They're in the middle of the pack of the um, MASL playoff race. Yucca City drops to 2-10 and 10 on the year. Blast. Home again next Friday here against Harrisburg. Utica City goes to St. Louis uh, next Saturday, and then it's a makeup game midweek when the Blast travel to Utica City on February 23rd, and then the Utica City Football Club finishes up the month with Harrisburg and Baltimore on the road. So a tough road for Utica here in the month of February. It's gonna do it for us here in Baltimore. Once again, your final score, Blast seven, Utica two. For Lee Tashantaret and Andrew Primrose, I'm Paul Mittermeier saying so long. You've been watching MASL Soccer on MASL TV.